Welcome everyone to tabrampo.com. This is Ritesh. Subscribe now to my channel if my videos are making sense to you. Don't miss to hit the bell icon if you want to get the regular updates. As you know, last time we we I started uh, my calculation series, so this is the part two of the same series. Thanks for liking the first part, and this part we are going to make use of regular expression. The inspiration of making this video is, uh, is that I have completed the 100 correct answers at Tableau Community as well. And my 100 correct answer came out of this very particular question that was based on regular expression. So I never worked on regular expression. So my other motive is uh, to let you know that this is not that difficult. I made use of this very particular website to learn this and still I'm learning as I said that I have started this last week only so this is the best site from where we can start and as you know that I always have this very particular section for you which is just for you section so at the top you can see this very particular website and there are a few other posts as well that would help you to learn more about regular expression with Tableau before moving ahead, uh, let me tell you that today we are going to today we are going to focus upon reg exp underscore extract and reg exp underscore extract underscore head. We are not going to I'm not going to work on the examples based upon match or replace, which are simple as well. But today we are going to exp I'm going to concentrate on the first two. So what is this regular expression? So regular expression was created by gskinner.com and is proudly hosted by Media Temple. With the help of regular expression, you can edit the expression and text to see matches, rollover matches, or the expression for details. So here, with the help of Tableau, we can integrate with the regular expression that would help you to get the insight or you will have, that will help you to extract the string matching the patterns. As I said, uh, my first approach would be to come to this website and learn with the help of hands-on example. For example, on the left-hand side, you can see cheat sheet and that is very helpful for you to understand the basics. For example, forward slash w, that means all the words, all the words are getting added. forward slash, say d. There are no matches for the digits, that's why you don't see anything over there. Anyways, as spaces, you can see all the spaces over there. Now I, I do A, B, C with those big brackets over there. So it would say match any character in the set. So notice that on the right hand side it will show you the number of matches at the bottom it will show you the explanation of your expression at the top. If I use the option of, so now you can see that means not A, B, or C. Also, if you hover around, it will show you the match. It is matching capital R, R yes, because it is, this is not a part of the set over there. It is not a set, but this is not, this is not A or B or C because set is a different topic altogether over there. We'll come to that as well. So if I make this as a set, so you see there are no matches over there. If you remember when I did A, B, C inside the bigger bracket, big bracket, then uh, it was highlighting A or B or C, but then here we are treating A, B, C as a group. So if I do R, E, G, then it will highlight because it is treating R, E, G as a group. So now let us switch over to Tableau because now we have got basics of <laughs> regular expression. So now let us go over to the, to the tab and here we can see now this is a big example. Let us just try to duplicate this one and say edit and if I say regular and I say let me delete this let me just try to do the I'm 
I'm making use of this example on ABC. Let us start with a simple one, one, two, three. And let us try to see our approach over here. Now, okay, now you have to be, remember one thing, the regular expression pattern requires exactly one capturing group. We need only one capturing group that is at the end, the small brackets. So if I think about this very particular expression, I would say, okay, this is, an, I want one, two, three. So the pattern is like there are alphabets, then space, then digits. So I would say it is starting with the alphabet A to Z. This is the range, anything between A to Z. Then plus sign means it can be one alphabet or more, one or more. That's fine. After that, forward slash S, that there is space again plus that means there will be one space or more. And after that, the group, the ultimate thing that we want to explain extract again d that means digit plus again one or more now i say okay and i say i want the copy one only looks like we have done something okay we forgot to close this one and this just not make any sense over there now if you apply we can see one two three and now let's take this to another level with the help of this question that that inspired me to learn more about regular, regular expression so here you can see the user want us to extract this one at the rate there are other at the rate as well but the condition is as i say you will have to think about the pattern the pattern is at the rate where on the left hand side you can see a space on the left hand side of this space it's a CRT capital R capital T on the right hand side immediate of this very particular string we see colon so if I go back to my or if I just copy this one so let us make it bigger and better I say this one I say this one. Fair enough. If I do apply over there, it could show me blank as expected. So I want to capture this one. So remember that I'm using line by line, but uh, you'll have to make use of the field as well and drag it over there i'm doing it like this because i just want to show you closely so i want to extract this one so i would say that okay here i'll have to write an expression so okay rt there and after that this group because rt is common and I would say okay, it is starting with the space and it can be one space or more spaces. Mm, fine. And after that I would say okay. Within A to Z. Before that there is at the rate. And uh, after that here RT. Then this group has started, then space is there. Then at the rate is there. After at the rate, you have A to Z, anything between A to Z. And outside the group, there is a colon. Let us see if it is doing something. No, because we have not, there is not only one, you know, you'll have to make use of plus, as I said earlier as well. That means one alphabet or more than one. And as we used plus over there, one space or more. Now see if we, yes, it is coming. This is coming nicely. But then, if you see the post over there, there, there is, if I replace this very particular string with this one, Will it come up? 
No, because we have included only small letters over there. So I can do it like this. I, I want to include capital letters as well. Now it is working. So now you'll have to check, you know, there can be a few more uh, patterns over there which are still not included over there. But this will be a single field. So I'm not going to do I'll have to drag that. For example, if there's a product name, I'll drag it over there. But th this seems to work for me. And if I'm not wrong, this seems to work for the users as, as well. Yes, this is working. So I'll paste this very particular link as well at my YouTube description. And uh, so in reality, you are not going to do like this. You will have a product, so for example, product name or something like that. Product name. So we'll drag it over there. And and I say product name and I select expression, right? Well, this time it is not working, but then because obviously the pattern is different. For example, I want this anything which is having uh, decimal, you know, having this dot over there. So I can write my expression like within the group product and that dot is followed by a digit, one or more digit and again that is followed by a digit. That would be one or more digit. Will it work? Yes. But then you'll see that it is, you know, this this is how you troubleshoot it. You'll have to make use of this. Because if you remember, if I go back over there, it's escaped special characters, so that is applicable over here. So now you can see. So this is the way you know, you have to, so I'm showing you this only because because this just does not make much sense over there but then we're going to make use of fields over there and I I was using the lines of of that very particular field of this very particular question at Tableau Community Forum. So I have a question for you, exercise question for you so that would help you to understand this very particular concept in a better way. So where is that question? So there is there was another question over here, and I will have solution for you as well. Here I would like to include the doors. You know there are different activity codes over there, so I would like to have 12.5 mg uh, or 5 ml. So I would like to get this very particular string. You know, so you can see sometimes there are, there are mg slash 5 ml as well. And sometimes they are not, for example, here. Sometimes there is a, there is a slash over there, but then there is nothing after that. So you need to include everything. And in order to achieve that, you'll have to change your regular expression again and again, you know, if, if everything is not coming at the output. So that will be a good exercise for you. Although I'll paste the solution as well, but then I, I'm expecting you to do it on your own. So I hope that uh, this was a fruitful session for you and if you are looking forward to more sessions like this on Tableau calculations and other topics like certifications to Tableau server, recording, performance recording, etc, etc, then this is the time to subscribe my channel again. This is Ritesh signing off from tableinfo.com. Bye-bye.